What is up guys, Son of Beast here. It's game two of the Eastern Conference Championship game as the Sixers take on against the Bucks as the Philadelphia Sixers won their first game against the Bucks. Didn't notice that Giannis Antetokounmpo was out there ready to get going right now, but one of the teams might be tired to start the first game. But let's find out what is happening here on the second game. Let's find out what is happening here at the Fiserv.forum. Once again, I'm just doing the statement. Don't worry about the uh, the other uh, court. This is something that is straight out of a canyon that you never know what you can you can do what you can get there at that time. So let's get right into it. Anyways, let's just get let's just do uh let's see how many skill bigots you can can you choose from? You know what? I like to choose eight well, of them, me, I but, I, but I don't think this is not going to be any like, difference. If I do one thing too much, I feel like I don't, really because you know why? I don't think I don't have any choices to get anything. But anyway, I just can't like, remember change, what the I answer is, is, so uh, I don't know if I have everything going on right now. So let's get let's get going here for the part of game two in the Eastern Conference Championship game. Downtown Milwaukee at the Five Star Forum, looking very nice in the shining sun, right from out outside. This is game number two, showing you that Philly won their first game here against the Bucks. But there's a lot more to keep it going. DA, let's see what the update is. Joel Embiid and the Sixers have been through a lot in the last five years. At the beginning, there were so many losses on and off the court. But trust the process became a mantra, one that Embiid embraced. He said, I think a lot about what I went through, how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. Kevin, the process has turned out quite well. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. And Thanks for Joel and Beach showing up with the last stats here. Status here. I don't think there may not be any choices to look for uh, for other players, including a Giannis, on the points of the game. It's only saying Brooke Lopez, and that yeah, that was not that quite right. But I only have to say this: uh, everything is turning out to be right. One of each players that had some of most pointage of the average. Key matchup will be Tobias Harris against Chris Middleton in a small forward position. And on the outside, it will be Anshikupo against Al Horford in a point forward position. Then Brooke Lopez against Joel Embiid in the center. Then Josh Richardson playing up against Wesley Matthews in the shooting guard position. And a point guard position is Ben Simmons against Bledsoe. So let's get this game on. Let's see who wins. Philly wins the ball. I'm just I'm just leaving the statement here. This is the part of what uh what Phil what uh, Bucks can do. I always admire the coaches. The first bucket goes in for Tobias Harris with the start of the uh, first quarter in the second game. You want everything out in front of Now here's Bledsoe in the other hand. He only grabs a couple. He has eight points in this game of the season, but his game is, is not just the only way that he wants to keep it going. After the miss by Brooke Lopez, here's Embiid. Embiid with the ball. Embiid with the ball, dish off to Horford. They're rolling around the, on the other hand to Richardson. Almost went out of bounds, but saved it. Suits over Giannis. And the shot is good. Two points for Joel Embiid. This happened in three games uh, last uh, regular season. But Giannis coming in. Driving in. Oh, didn't make that shot in time. I don't think it didn't work really well. To the inside. Oh, still stolen, stolen by Middleton. Here's the fast break. Whoa! Oh, out of bounds goes up by the Bucks ball. Let's try one more look at from here. Uh, before I move on from uh, from the other end, let's take a look at the instant replay that I've been checking out. What the heck does Joel Embiid have to do? I'm gonna zoom the camera in. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. And should be yeah, this one right here. Let's check it out one more time. You see that? You see how Joel Embiid got got a not got a piece of it? That's what you notice that because the Middleton and Embiid are just like handling the ball right out of the way. You just did not see if that ball went out of bounds. And then what just happened? Well, it went over the backboard and then it just collapsed. 
Pat out of position. And then what happened here, that Joel Embiid, when a dive and when a drive was coming in, you didn't see what Joel Embiid just crashed right into the wall. He did and then Ben Simmons would have grabbed that rebound not too long because the referee called it out of bounds. And it's still Bucks ball. What a great move here for Joel Embiid to knock out with the block. I'm seeing things going out. I'm seeing what Joel Embiid's next. <clears throat> Back in the overway. Middleton outside. Feeds it to Kerry Tepsey on Giannis. Giannis with this dunk, dunk. Sure dunk that ever happens before. Fear the deer. Bledsoe against Simmons. Simmons passed to Richardson. Pass to Horford. Pass to Horford. Back to Horford rolling it over to Simmons. 525 left. Six on the, Six shot, on the shot, clock. shot clock. Here's Shoots over Middleton. Rebounded by, Rebounded by Brooke Lopez. I see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Drive going up again. The three pointer for Matthews. Good. Trains it from outside. That will be the first assist by Giannis Achichukumbo. Simmons passing up to Harris. Under five minutes. Five to four is your score. Pass to Richardson. Rolling over to Horford. The 76ers. Richardson coming in the paint. Shots good. Shots good here. That's the first bucket for Richardson. Richardson points up early. Pointing up the early bucket that time. That's what you gotta do. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. There's actually Kupo past the Plutzo. Passing it over to Matthews. Screen on Giannis. Comes in the paint. Landing a player like Giannis in the draft. And small market teams have to... Oh, take it out! What a block system. pass here for uh, Myers Harris. Oh! Uh, Sixer ball, still... It, well, it's still Philly ball. But it looks like one of each players never didn't show up the ball. Mike Bunholz, who would told the team to grab that ball. Don't let it go. If it rolls out of bounds, forget it. Just keep it playing. Now Harris. Well, you gotta grab that ball back. If it rolls too too long, if it rolls too too fast, don't worry here. You don't have to worry about the about uh, catching up the with the die and then passing it to the other way. Middleton missing up again. Well they didn't come in the top place. Harris passing it to MB. As they put a win against Philly, that was 49 defensive rebounds and off rebounds was just nine for the Bucks. That was the last season. That was the uh, regular game season that was happening. Simmons taking the three. Long range. It's good. I think this is crucial for his confidence and his game. When Ben Simmons is connecting from deep, you know he's feeling it and dangerous. Of course he is. That's what you got to know about it, Greg Anthony. And the Greek freak slams it down. Right for, right around the uh, right around the man. And then rolling rum in the paint. The Greek freak. Sixers still leading by two. Outside Simmons. He bounce past it. Tobias Harris stepped out of bounds. It's Bucks ball. Let's have a look at the Tobias Harris numbers. 19 points, 6 rebounds, and then 3 assists of the season. But he's not showing what uh, after last season was just coming out way short. But you, you never get a chance to see what uh, what the Greek freak or Antetokounmpo Brooke Lopez or anybody else that you would that you get to realize what uh what the other players about Tobias Harris was playing. He was playing with the Clippers the last season, but uh, he never got a chance to see uh, Marcin Gortat back because he might be retired. Yeah, he finished his NBA career season. I don't think he may not be returning. Great, great shot here for Richardson. This is by Simmons. See ahead vision. I mean, he sees a play ahead and he's a great. Excuse me. And no first time out will go on for the Bucks. The they couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Maybe that's why there's a. It's definitely a lot lost, lost touch of the hand. Uh, I'm just not. I'm not. No, I'm not wrong. I'm. I'm totally uh, getting, getting it back in. 
to uh, to pull up a, a number of shots for other players. Sometimes they can't handle it with the uh, with the shots that, that wants to come in and I, and I be wide open. But if but if somebody wants to uh, pass it and then uh, and it's the man who's on guarding, just try to pass it. Maybe there's a lot of more more uh, players that might be uh, might be finding its way down. Here's a couple uh, changings here for uh, for Philly and the Bucks. Let's have a look here at George Hill. Made a lead of 48 points uh, for free point percentage. Definitely did work it out really well after playing with the Cavs in the last season. Burks covering. And George Hill will take the first three, first look at that shot. The range spot of the floor is where Hill excels most. He knocks down that shot with great regularity. 2.15 left to go. Here's Burks. Pass up by MB. Veteran point guard. He's bounced to Sixers moving the ball around. But he gives you leadership, toughness. Oh, almost lost the ball here, but it's covered by Kurt Potts. Five ball taking the wide look. Every team that he plays Unable to connect the three as it's going to be a First rebound for Hilly Sofa. Knock loose. Hill pass to. And we got a rejection by MB. Tybo will take the first look. First pointer of the night. Great shots here. Great layup. Nice jiving moments. I guess I really loved uh, how Tybo's uh, play on his, on his second shot. So he, knows, he knows everything what he can do. He tries to get their attention out right from the court. He'll never know if he can get back again. Here's Burks following up the following the layup by George Hill. Here's MB. Here's MB. Only one rebound that time, but only two points. Maybe way off. Burks rolling over to Cork Boss. Back to Burks. Back to Burks. Just five on the clock. The two. Robin Lopez grabs a rebound. A and a miss comes up by Burks. Pass to Ilya Sofa. Ilya Sofa to Hill. Managed to take the three, but it's off the mark. Three, two rebounds for Embiid. Looked good from here. Embiid pass up the court boss. 35 seconds left. Back to court boss. Back to court boss. Shoots over Connaughton. And he drops it in. That's a two pointer for court boss. This is five five We've got twenty eight seconds left here in the Twenty five seconds left. Here's Steve Vincenzo. Steve Vincenzo. Pass to Robin Lopez. Ripped away. Ripped away. That's by Fiebel. And MB's got it. Here he comes. Yep. Bible delivers a layup. That is the second bucket of the night here. You gotta love about You gotta love what other players can do. This is definitely how much they can handle with the shot. Shooting from 17 for George Hills is good. That is the end of the first half. 17 to 13. Showing up the two steals and takeaways by the Phillies. But the Bucks needs to find up uh, needs to find a takeaway with the ball. Second quarter's next. What put me over the, the edge to make this switch is just uh, the depth that I saw with this team. It's an up-and-coming young team that we have a chance to be good for many, many years, and it was something I wanted to be a part of. Why does he have to make any decisions for uh, for Al Horford? Well, there's well this since uh, since he started playing NBA, he just he, they draft Atlanta Hawks draft him in a 2007 season. But this time, uh, after a few couple seasons, he's with the Boston Celtics with Kyrie Irving. Oh, great block here by Milton. I don't know why does he have to do it that time. Oh, come on! That'll be the, that'll be Philly ball. DiVincenzo and Wimby. Wimby, that surprised to get that ball already. Mike Bornholzer would have topped the player says, don't leave the ball alone. Like I just said before, uh, he played with the Boston Celtics with Kyrie Irving, Jason Tatum, Gordon Hayward, and of course, uh, and Jalen Brown. 
It's stolen by George Hill after an about incomplete bounce pass. From Corker will take the two. Shots is good. These guys got two points here on the board. But trailing by two. Really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side. And then after he played with the Boston Celtics, Al Horford gives select, select, uh, decides to select the Sixers because about a play. Back in the last couple seasons, he wants to do everything what he does. Does Scott can't get it to go? First shot for Scott can't make it in. And that's why uh, that's why Al Horford wants to make some lever switches here because they they're having a hard time. Sixers are having a hard time uh, in the back of their first season. If they're going to have a chance, second season and third season. Robinson the third coming in. No, 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 not yet. Now five on the clock. That's to Embiid. Embiid over to DiVincenzo. Rebound by, Rebounded by Mill by Warren Williams. Especially in the playoffs where teams Especially really about George Hill, he's, he's doing, doing over. Oh, Milton's got to check the way. There's no denying for all the Pass to Scott. Ability and versatility. Oh, great D by George Hill. What a stop on Scott for keeping him trouble out of the out of the way. DiVincenzo finishes a drive. Timeout, Philly. With just five minutes left, as they're picking up the pace right now. And Phillies are going to have to like uh, pick another offensive look, showing us what they did. How incredible do you feel like the comeback rally was in the second period? We don't know anything about it. Here's some changes here for the Bucks and the Sixers as Tobias Harris checked in for Scott. And that's Ben Simmons checked in for Burks. Richardson checked in for Middleton. And Joel Embiid checked out as Al Horford is checked back in. Also another switch, Ajakubo, Middleton, Corker, and Bledsoe are checked back on the court. Ben Simmons trying to find a look. Here's Simmons. Good. Good. With the layup and the drive, that will be another point for Ben Simmons. You know, what touch from the a lot of spin moving, maybe not in that time. Spin move before the uh, layup shot. That's the only way I was just looking for. 433 left. Bledsoe against Simmons. Checking on the drive. Now go on or Al, Al Horford. The free throw line. First personal foul and Bledsoe will go to the line to shoot two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting Seems like Al Horford didn't get really, the he, he really yeah, was playing with the yeah, Boston Celtics. They were sending with that foul. But his next career, but unfortunately he had another job to do. So he decided to move to another uh, town down, that he was looking for. And in so Philly, far, these guys in Pennsylvania, fantastic job finding all, all of a sudden the scoring out breakdown was that. just off of the assist, 13 and points in pain was just 12. This point to this point, just a lot of breakdown little. pulling up in between. The free throw drops for one First free throw is good. Matthews and Brooke Lopez are checked in for Marvin Williams and Kyle Horford as Austin Cooper moves to the point four position. Well, just because I've watched him and loved this game since locking into him, Yoke. Back into the he starting can, five. He can shoot it. He can score it inside. He's got such excellent hands and touch. Second free throw is good. Stop. Stop. Start. Marcus Stuck it up by 19. Here's Ben well. Simmons Marcus checking out. Is also Pass to Al Horford. You'd feel comfortable with any of those Horford guys. rolling it over back. Now he passed the Brent Robinson the third. Screen on Horford. Robinson drives it. Drives it in, and, and here's another the two pointer. Sixers are taking a lead by two and break the tie from the even scoring position from one to another. In the second quarter of basketball. Asikubo going back around. Four minutes to play here in the second period of the first half. Brooke Lopez finding a round. Fast on to Kupo. The drive. And there's another bucket here for Asikubo. You know, he attracts a lot of attention. He's, trace, he's tracking a lot, the trying to scan the floor. He said his team while he's, while he's trying to find a yes, yeah, trying to scan the rim to find out if he can make that shot. A lot more better. Richardson going over to Ohio Warford. Shoots over court. Over Brook Lopez, and there's a two. Catches the four nicely for a big. That may be Al Warford. That's his first bucket of the night. Brooke Lopez. Oh no, Giannis puts it down here. Streaking up on the paint, and there's the dunk. Sixth by Bledsoe. 
There's a couple alley oops that you've never seen it before about Giannis and Chicago. Let's see what the A.S. Chris Middleton was a first-time All-Star in 2019. We all know that Middleton is one of the league's best shooters, but he had to adjust his game to a new system under coach Mike Budenholzer. Middleton said, I guess that's what being an All-Star is, a team player and a complete player. Not playing for stats, playing for nothing else but to win. Kevin? First time All-Star and well deserved. David, thank you. What's so passes the After a shot by Tobias Harris, here is Brooke Lopez. 240 left. Anchikupo trying to look around. Oh, coming in. And there's a shot. It goes in. Tobias Harris takes the first personal foul. That'll be the second team foul on Philly. Giannis only got 10 points. Shooting percentage always and right now, Cork Miles is checked in for Clyde Robinson and Fern, and Richardson is checked out as five balls checked in. He's checked in for Milwaukee. Also, the Bucks are making some switches here as Matthews is checked out and Connaughton is checked in. First time playing with the uh, with the Bucks. Actually, there might be a lot more, a lot more to tell. Free throw. Giannis mm, never got a chance to break his eye. You could see the change in his. What the heck happened? You know, he knew a lot more to get things done. When he was on the floor. Five ball taking a step back three. You can say nobody can stop me. Middleton will grab the rebound. Is your right? Don't have enough room on the corner. Whoa! Whoa! Flutso on rolling again. And now he's on the roll again, just moving out. Bledsoe, you, you can't go wrong with uh, with the name by Eric Bledsoe. You say Bledsoe, that's all you got to know. Two minutes left here in the second period. Court Boss, checking the pass to Horford. Rolling around, didn't break the tie, it went off. Giannis picking up the another run. Middleton for three. It's rebounded by Feibel. That is the first rebound for Feibel. Pass to Simmons. Al Horford with the screen. Used the layup and ties it up with just four points. Four events, seven to screen and roll situations. I mean, Scoop, he scooped it up and then make the reverse. When it comes to tearing apart the defense, it's not a three pointer, it's just a two. Or wait, a three pointer for Simmons. Simmons against Bledsoe. Bledsoe with the shot. Trying to break loose. Trying to call the loose by Simmons. Middleton outside. 113 left. What the heck is happening right now? Here's Lopez. Oh! And it's not clock violation. As we're going to break in the edge, now let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. Look at Milwaukee. What a run they've had this year. In first place and charging seemingly at will toward the postseason. These guys have been out Shut up, Lex. I just don't want to, I just don't want to I have a talking ability. I'm just going to have to mute you. for the Bucks. They had a few critics. I'll offer a miss again. Since the shot clock, after the shot clock violation for the Bucks, here's uh, Connaughton. Oh, what a done smoother. Tobias Harris did went up to swap it away. Middleton against Korkmaz. Screen on Giannis on Stokubo. Four seconds to shoot. Giannis needs to get one. And it's Giannis keeping the miss again. I don't know if Philly wants to keep it, wants to break the tie, but they wanted to just... Give it a break a while. He's coming off a 22 point game against Detroit. Bible going back up the other way. For him as well. He got Rolling over to Ben Simmons for three. No good. No good on the shot. Giannis rolling around. Connaughton trying to go for the buzz beater. Here's on Chikumbo with the buzz beater. And they definitely didn't want to do it. So that's the end of the first half, as Philly and Bucks are evened up by 27. Let's see what David Aldridge has to go from here. Thanks, Brooke. Where is this team right now? Brooke Lopez. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, it's really thrilling to come out with such a great you guys every night, you know, and uh, play basketball. You know, it's just it's a lot of fun. Smiles on your face, Brooke. Thanks for the time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. We'll be back with the second half after this one. Stay tuned for stay tuned for some biggest highlighting of the game in the second half. The second half is about to start right now as the first quarter is on its way next. 
27 to 27, as Giannis putting up the biggest strong ability, what his shooting range is up to. By the last year of, uh, in 2013, about a couple of back of years in 2013, Giannis did start out as a rookie year. But, uh, but in a rookie year, they call him Ostekupo, Ostekunopi, or just like something like that. You just don't, mosquitoes. I don't, I don't know how you say that, but that's not, that's not how I want to say it in just the first place. Wow, what a save here for Giannis to start the second half. 6.43 left. I might be, uh, I might be going out of time right now. It might be too much to go from season one to four. Bouncing past Taylor Wild Horford. Great credit to him for not sitting back. And both cases. Making a crossover move. Pass to Harris. Pass is up. Shots good for Harris. Another two pointer up the line as he's got seven points. Horford and MB. Bledsoe against Simmons. Bledsoe wants to find somebody who can do it with another alley oop. A three pointer off the off the mark, and he's not interested doing this. Uh, he went to grab taking the uh, take Richardson with the uh, shot, but Joel Embiid never slows it down. Now he passes to Richardson. Harris passes to Richardson. Oh, shoots over Bledsoe. Richardson with no points here, but just only four. Gonna be the rebound. No good from Bledsoe. What? A lot of fighting going on with the rebound, but Al Horford forgot it. Bledsoe only got four points. One assist and one out of four. Now he missed three shots on his on his on his ability. Simmons trying to look for somebody around. Shoots it over Butso. It's rebounded by MB. Oh, Brooke Lopez send it back. Dude, don't you dare. Oh, Ansta Kupo with the dunk. Assist by Matthews. A lot of changing so far here as G the Greek freak sells it out to be a superstar. Not just only not making mistakes here, but he's doing really well. I think the next greatest player, we're, we might see uh, LeBron James because that's the only thing I remember on his loving 2K ability. The shot for Simmons. That one's off the mark in the paint. Stuff him a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Pass to Bledsoe. Bledsoe with a shot. It's good. Timeout Philly. Just 4.33 left. As the Bucks are just swirling out to make the tie series. A lot of under and over with a lot of passes. That's like that's like how you know uh, everything about that. I like it too. Some changes here for the Bucks and the Sixers. Milton checked in for for uh, Ben Simmons. And Richardson switched to the point guard position. Burks and Scott are also checked in. Yeah, I agree with you guys. All five players are subbed in. All five players subbed out. And B on the roll. Looks like he's 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 like uh, he's like saying it's quote maybe I maybe I don't want to be afraid right now. I'm just like I'm just like all ready to go and hyped up. What a, what a play that you that you guys should know about. Joel Embiid. DiVincenzo, oh, swiped it up. But the foul might be on Burks. First personal foul maybe was on uh, on Burks. First team foul on Philly. Okay, I'll say that again. First personal foul on Burks. First team foul on Philly in the second half. DiVincenzo will go to the line to shoot two. Just a close enough game to, to, uh, to try to stop us. But it doesn't work really well. Shoot two. The first shot for DiVincenzo is good. Talk about about DiVincenzo. He's like uh, he's like showing up. I mean, he might be a European part person, uh, part of the United and Great Britain. You know, I don't know if it's the uh, if it's the right call that uh, I think that everybody was looking for. For me, I like to tell you, this is like uh, this is like a best guy that that he wants to be playing here in the Euro League. But not for long because uh, he already uh, he, did, he didn't play uh, he didn't play the Euro League in a Great Britain, so that's a big problem. 
Richard Bounce pass that beat. Now here's him. Pass to Scott. Scott. Lay up with the Scott. And that's first bucket for, uh, for an amazing shot yeah, for Mike Scott. Nice lay up here, right over Ailey Sofa. I wonder what his hair color is uh, for Ailey Sofa. Do you think it's black? Do you think it's brown? Well, everybody's saying black. Well, but DiVincenzo's got another shot. DiVincenzo's got an upper bucket in. Field goals updated, 50 for Sixers and 46 for the Bucks. He bounced past to Milton. Don't have any room. But then B will grab it and draw his showing up. Fast to MB. Rocket six. Rolls over Corfer. Count it! The foul was on Kyle Corfer, his first. He's muscling up his way on this move. Kyle Corfer said, What? How did I do that? That was not that wasn't my fault at all. Consider quitting the game. I mean, Why would I push him like that? This is not just the pushing part. You just don't fight like that, like he used to. And just, that's just the course. Dennis Rodner, just like he was like fighting up against the other player, players that uh, wants to draw his foul. But that's not. But that's not even fair. What you just say, and that's not that's not polite, and doesn't respect the other team, like not any attention at all. And some real adversity for Joel. Really and tough here for Joel Embiid as he made one free throw and tied it up by 37. And then George Gill lost the lost the quarter. Embiid going back the other way with only eight rebounds. The oftentimes 245 left. And still less for Embiid rolling over to Richardson. Positive outcomes and you know Embiid rolls it in. Drives good. His goal to inspire others in Africa to make a better life, and that drove him. Just watch that one again. Where very nice, uh, very nice drive. Maybe one of my greatest he players may be, uh, maybe so Alan Iverson, the third. Here's the best, really uh, oh, I'm sorry, just Alan Iverson, because you know uh, what, what how I feel. Everything, what you believe here, is just amazing. Well, that shot went down in, but that's, well, but that's what happens right now. We're just saying going back the other way. That might be Middleton, I don't know if it is. Pass up the Burks. Now Burks. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Scott taking it a look. A number two pulling up is made. Two more. He made two more shots, and now he has four points right on the board. Forty-one to forty might be a close call. Let's swing it over to David to David Aldridge. Oh, goaltending. The G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. Now that expansion is making well, we know about the E-Clear expansion rule. Well, let's it make some other changes. Those intentional fouls that slowed the game to the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored. So that was a goaltending on uh, Joel Embiid. Nobody has saw that before, but it was too close. Oh, swearing down the field from the paint. Welcome, Embiid. Embiid has a lane. He looks to throw it down, and he's got great speed for a big couple. Maybe he looks like LeBron James. That's not. Maybe that's not what I see at that time. Timeout calling by Bucks. 125 left, 43 to 42. Just a close enough game. Showing what MB can stop from from the strong moment. Joel Embiid's checked out as Al Horford is checked in. And it's Robin Lopez checking in. Here's George Hill since he made the All-Star game. Just eight points, two assists. He's very steady with that It looks like uh, three rebounds was just only made. I don't think they, it was not enough to keep it, keep it going again. Maintain the status quo. Share the basketball and minimize. Robin Lopez with a nice layup. Assist by. DiVincenzo or Hill, I don't know if it is right, that's all I'm going to say. Five ball passes up to Court Boss. Sixers lead by taking a trail by one. Court Boss going up to take the two, a lot, 
Another rebound for Harris. Puts it back. That's another point here for Harris. Nine points. Yeah, you know, Harris is now your skill. I'm showing what what's what's the difference between that hill and a Sullivan Hill. There's not enough to not enough to make any information. As we approach the fourth quarter. We approach we're almost about to be approaching the fourth quarter. Steven turns it with the steal, followed up by George Kill with the dunk. And he's going again. Oh, Al Horford did show that I went up. A clean block shot. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Harris passing up to Horford. Whoever had rolled to Feibel. Feibel. Harris dishing at the three. Hill pulls, Hill pulls up the rebound. Ten seconds left. The shot going into paint. DiVincenzo way off. From the elbow. From the elbow. Rebound. Oh, put back in. And now a three-point Bucks lead. A guy that doesn't give up. End of the third quarter, 48 to 45, with the saving rebound of Robin Lopez. How well do you know about Robin Lopez? Neither of those guys are doing a really good job. Burke Lopez and Robin Lopez. We'll stick it off with the fourth quarter after this. It's time to reveal the State Farm Assistant of the Game. We're checking out the previous one of Wesley Matthews and Anja Kumpo. Wait, well, it's kind of short, but uh, but I'm just saying. A lot of this participation was uh, was Wesley Matthews that wants to get back him in here. You know what? I want to say Wesley Matthews. Make him score. So we can have it on the board. So we can make. So we can have a score. So we can put it on the scoreboard. I don't think there may not be any difference between uh, between Brooke and Robin Lopez because their hairs are different. How does that need to know that? Simmons with the layup, and that's good. And this is the effort you want. Is this by Al Horford? This isn't what uh, what everybody was and paying you know attention at. I mean, they're showing a bunch of but for Al Horford. He's definitely picking up some good speed moments. So he brings it up for the Milwaukee. On a speed ball, trying to keep it up. Kept alive. Uh, kept alive. Giannis sends it back in. Into a big lead, but their rebound is advantage. Just 16 points, 57% on a fragment, and on the court for just 13 minutes. That's quite that's quite a little bit sorting, but I thought that would be more than 15 or something like that. I don't have any choices to say. Court Miles with left alone. Rebound by Al Horford. And he put it back in. That is four points for Al Horford in the second half. Since the first half was just only two points, but now he has another one. Brooke Lopez to middle ten with a shot for three. The three is off the mark. They kept they kept going in and out, in and out every time. Al Horford passing it up to Harris. Now he passed to Fiebel. Fiebel against Cork, I mean, not to Kumpo. Suits over Brooke Lopez. I missed that time. The fadeaway shot will be up and the reaching miss. Let's go in the left. The baseline shooting, and there is a shot. You know, you've got to honor Bledsoe's mid range J. I mean, he's consistent at knocking it down from there. Gonna need to find something else. Bledsoe against Shaw. I need some post up. Pass to Cork Baez on the right. Five minutes left. Rolling it over to Tobias Harris. Shoots over on Shikumpo. It's hold up by Giannis. That's number eight for Giannis. And here's Bledsoe. Oh my goodness, the fadeaway shot's good. Timeout's Philly. 54 to 49 is your score, which is 446 remaining. And the Bucks are coming back in to just make a series to tie it up. What a great play here for the Bucks. Let's catch up on David Aldridge on the sideline after the change. got a chance to hear what Brett Brown said to his team. He said, if we're going to pull this out, we have to do it as a team. We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Kevin, back to you. Milwaukee leading by five. Milwaukee leading by five. Breach and foul will be on Joel Embiid. That is his first foul. First foul of the game for Philly. Just about 4.31 left. 
Anshikubo on the wing, on the corner. Bledsoe outside. Up, oh, the screen was messed up. Bledsoe with the dunk. Stretch here in the final four. Greg, you can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. Pastor Richardson. Pastor Richardson, 12 points for Eric Bledsoe and 9 points for Ben Simmons as uh, as Bledsoe leads up by 3 points behind uh, behind Ben Simmons. And there's Miss Chopper, Ben Simmons. Anzi Kupo rolling it back away. Nice see, but they lost streak, and the foul pulls up on Joel and B. Second personal foul, just 348 remaining. And yes, Wesley Matthews went tumbling down the floor and made and made a barrel roll. Nobody will ever do that. Well, they like to get out of the way and get the barrel roll up in here. That's what I recommend you do. If, you're, if you wipe out, just get out of the way. The Bucks are also breaking down their scores. Not just a not just a lot, but just a few. The first one falls. First one falls for Wesley Matthews as uh, he needs to score this. Who has no hesitation, Greg, in taking that long three. <laughs> a pretty good combination. Whether. An Achilles tear back in 2015, but has remained a steady rotation player. So Matthews hits two free throws, and they extend the lead. Matthews has made himself an efficient scorer, who also has by nine. As a good defender. Simmons pass up the MB. Oh, here he comes! Foul will go on Brook Lopez on his first. Joel and B will head to his first trip to the free throw line. About Joel Embiid, and, and I'm talking about this. Joel Embiid, he's not going anywhere. All the skill in the world and on the other team. Personality made. He's all staying shot. right here, not doing anything. Free throw and B draws him, draw his, makes his first you free throw. You talk about Embiid's personality. Whether it's what's your, what's, or where or are the Embiid's media, personality Greg, for He's not shy of speaking his mind. One of the best trash talkers in the league. He doesn't hold back, but it's never personal. He's embracing the spirit of competition. That one falls, so it's both. So he made two free throws. Really good day and yes, MB definitely the does have a lot of taunts in the player as well. That might be unsportsmanlike conduct, unsportsmanship for uh, MB not talk. He like taunting well, the players and, 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 and pointing at that one. It might not be that fair because you might have to be careful. Lost ball stays alive. 58 to 51 is your score as Sixers Philly trailing by seven. Matthews. Four seconds to shoot. Matthews from out of time. But the shot went off for a three. And Bees got nine rebounds, 11 points, and two assists. Richardson outside. Bounce passing to Harris. Pass to Embiid. Uh, that shot cuffed it in, and there's 13 points for MD. on top of things there, folks. Recognizing a big possession. Anshikupo going back the other way. He might be showing up some trouble here. Oh, the Greek freak slams it down as he puts up 18 points right over MB. 13 points. Five point lead by, ben, by Joel MB. Simmons with just two, and yes, that's another two-pointer for, for Simmons. That's a, that's not 12 point. That's, that was a, you know what, if that's a two-pointer, you can't just figure out what it is. Yeah, that's a two-pointer. Simmons has got 11 points behind Bledsoe. Middleton fires a three. Philadelphia can make the can make another uh, can make another shot, but only rebound can. Joel Embiid rolling over to Harris. Harris sticks to Simmons. Two minutes to go in the fourth period. We're almost done, guys. Oh, Giannis with the impossible layup 
I made that I made that block in time. What a great play for Giannis to stop by. Maybe impossible. It's like Giannis to say, what kind of layup is this? This should this should do another layup. This should do a better look. Don't don't mind me if I see this crazy stuff on on layups. Harris over Middleton. Great D by that time for Middleton, and that will be Ostakupo number number ten. Foul would have been Simmons, his first first team foul on Philly. Against his constitution. So it looks like uh, Bledsoe will go to the line to shoot two. <clears throat> but that was a close shot that he could have made. Bledsoe hits the first free throw. Matthews is checked out as Vincenzo is checked in. On is his passing. Other than that, I think his overall game is pretty solid. The Bucks making a switch here. De Vincenzo's checked in. I already, I already said that before. Two free throws made for Eric Bledsoe. That might be a seven-point game for the Bucks. Simmons pulling up the other way. Pass up to Horford, taking a three. Off the mark here. But that might be off the mark. Showing no shots here to make the clutch releasement. Antetokounmpo against Simmons. Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo against Simmons. Just under one minute left. Pass to Bledsoe. Bledsoe's shot missed a three. Philadelphia's gone over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Pass to Embiid. Pulls it back to Simmons, rolling up by Harris, by Richardson. Now Harris on the way on the corner. Richardson taking a three. Bams off the loss, and there we got a loose ball foul on Embiid. Third personal foul. And we got it. Looks like we got a fragment foul. As if, as Bledsoe wants to get what take take a look with one shot. Take a break. Oh no, two on one shot. Two shots. Not a fragment foul because if it's the uh, if it's a defensive sec three second violation, then then one player has to shoot just one. Any Bledsoe didn't seem like he was going to make that shot in, but only two free throw would allow it. One shot left. He's able to hit the second one. Able to make the second one, but that's uh, but that's okay because their teams are winning. Philadelphia. Richardson pulling it back away. And B going in. It's all but official. Top dick, but it looks like Antetokounmpo sends a rebound to the left wing. Left wing, Blatso. Blatso coming in the paint. Simmons oh, didn't want to go for that time. He will grab his attentional foul from Ben Simmons, the second, 11.2 seconds. Really, they're just. Bledsoe will go back to the yeah, shooting, exactly. shooting free throw line. Open. They're the only ones who don't really make it another, make another two out of one for two. Yes, they finally made one. Never, nine. never change. Scott. Milton and Robinson and Furrow checked in as all five players have checked out. O'Quinn and Hedda are checked in too. Steven Jensen, Milton, Ashtakuba, and Lopez are checked out. Mil Mil uh, Williams, Brown, and Corfer are checked in as Ashtakuba moves to the uh, center. Second free throw is good. And that's curtains form. Some really good work at the charity store. Hedda will try it's something a little bit of hazardous. Outside, Scott. Scott taking one more shot. That is the end of the game. Bucks take the tie of 1-1. 65-55 is your final score. The Bucks are coming its way to Game 3 at Philadelphia, playing against the Sixers. And that's, that's fine enough because uh, Philly Sixers need some more practice before they can start Game 3. And that's just the only solution for the Green Freaks to settle things up. With the win.
Now let's get you back right over to David Aldrich in the sideline for the post game. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get people to stop. And everybody's just playing their game. And it showed tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Thank you guys for watching. As uh, and we were back, we'll be back at the Western Conference as the Mavericks take on against the Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan. Back in Dallas. And then game three, the Mavericks and the Bucks are away to play against, to play at LA and Philadelphia. So there's a lot more to keep it going right now and in and out as every time we need. But there might be a lot lot more done to uh, for the Sixers to get back in. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. As until next time, peace out bitches for as a while as a NBA Eastern Conf Eastern and Western Conference style.